This skill is called Watch Me, which means eye contact. Feed from the lure hand at first, and then the other hand. Initially, try to be quiet when teaching new skills. I like the puppy to just be in a nice, quiet, relaxed state. Condition the puppy to handling by touching and feeding. Touch ears and paws, and be gently awkward. Gently. Each touch is followed by food. Touch, then food. Touch, then food. Over and over. Food brings joy. Touch brings food. Touch brings joy. I like to teach puppies settle by luring the puppy's nose over to the side. This is a very natural position for dogs and puppies, and putting it on cue is a nice way to ensure a calm and relaxed behavior. Practicing sit, down, sit helps puppy learn skills from any position. We don't want our dogs to only be able to sit from a stand or down only from a sit. And then practice stand, down, stand. I'm using a nice high value reward here. Something semi-soft, kind of meaty, not crunchy. For rollover, gently lure the nose over their back. Imagine you can kind of touch their backbone with their nose. Go real slow and avoid pushing or pulling the puppy. We want them to do it voluntarily. Go real slow, real gentle. Resist the urge to push them or pull them. Let them be the force of the motion. Try to practice stand down stand and sit down sit regularly during your practice session. This helps ensure that we can utilize these skills from any position so that we can sit from a down or sit from a stand so that we can down from a sit or down from a stand. Once things are going pretty well, try luring with one hand and then rewarding from the other side. This lays the foundation of not eating food in our hand when we ask for a skill. Finally, try signaling for the behavior with an empty hand and then reward from the other side. This lays the foundation for hand signals. You gotta love everybody, make them feel good about themselves. You gotta love everybody